hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jane this is the first time that you are seeing this beauty here thank you so much for stopping by when you finish watching please consider subscribing i appreciate you i thank you i love you i love you from my heart thank you so much i appreciate you <clears throat> so my people uh I'm, I'm making this video about this edo lection that just went and passed just came just passed like no man business and uh, we saw how those uh, elections went and now uh apc has graduated that no they don't even have to fight two days before this uh election they they said that the uh, imo state uh, governor hope uzodinjo brought they already signed everything everything is nanya 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 movie together eh? so everything so they 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 came out this to their own candidate their own candidate they refuse that refuses to talk to anybody their own candidate that said that the news people that were asking question will have to pay him their own candidate that promised that uh, he will bring insecurity and everything they promise they give us everything i next select president promise they give us so <clears throat> So this one happened, and they just announced this man. And this one emboldened them, made them so bold, made their shoulders so big that <clears throat> Ganduje, Ganduje said, okay, that's because they know they have lost not. Not, they are not playing. You can, uh, you can talk all you want. They are not playing in the not. They love, they love, they want good things to start happening in Nigeria. And they have shifted from both the APC and the PDP. They have shifted and they are moving towards OB. You know what they're doing now? Gantuje came out and boldly said, okay, now, okay, now we want to capture all the East. Remember that uh, man, is it Chukuma, whatever the name that said that uh, in the next election, in 2027 election, that they will take back Abia. Remember that man that said it. Uh -huh. We thought it was a joke. It wasn't a joke. When they asked him how he's going to do it, he said, Don't worry, we are working on it. Hey, he just came out. The man came out. Abia people jumped on him and said, Hey, who are you to come and say this? The man said, The man just give us a little fish. Just give us a little expo. What is about to happen? He just said it. And Abia people that have seen light, they jumped on him and said, Go and F yourself. It's not going to happen in Abia State. <laughs> we better sit our seat in Gidigba. Eh? Mm. We better sit in Gidigba because I next select president is cooking. Yeah, now dividing Nigerian states and giving it to each a uh, each a uh, governor each governor that did their their deadly bidding they give you one state to control and next elect president is controlling is controlling lagos and abuja i know he's controlling lagos now they gave a, a um a Mike, uh, to compensate him for rigging him in they gave him a uh, abuja to control and he's doing a good job and uh, they gave a um, now that they won in Edo, they have given a, a what do you call him? <laughs> the former governor, the one that was coming out to come as they that one that is so ugly that he, I don't even know who will marry that one. Hey, that one, mm -hmm. they gave him Edo now because he's the one that he, he used to be former governor of Edo state. Now he's going, to, he has graduated now to own a state. Hey, God, oh, they gave a Yubon state to hope who's of them. They gave a now they are distributing everything one by one they are working so hard now to collect a um, to collect a uh, river state to give it to Mwike so Mwike can have two states ah, they are distributing you guys now Ganduja has come out uh, boldly and said oh yes we are going to southeast it's about time that that APC get in touch and control everywhere in the southeast now we are going to anambra state guess what is going to happen they will buy a soludo <laughs> hey god they said they will collect anambra state and give it to a uh, hand they will go to abia state which they have already told us now it's up to you that that sits at home you sit at home and you said i'm not going to vote after all my vote is not going to count <laughs> Uh, anybody that I hear that says that his, his or her vote is not going to count, eh? 
that person need brain need to be re-examined. If you know how politics works, you will know that politicians are the ones that making decisions in our lives. They are the ones that is making decisions in our lives. They are the ones that is making decisions. Is that they are the ones that is making decision on the minimum wage. They are the ones that is making decision in uh, how, how gasoline will be. They are the ones that is making decision whether they will build hospital or not. They are the ones that is making decision whether your road will be built. They are the ones that are controlling all this Boko Haram that is going everywhere. And you sit down and you said you are not going to, your vote is not going to count. And you complain every day, Gov this government did this and this government did that. I, and, and you think that's, that's what will solve the problem. What will solve the problem in Nigeria? This, send this message to Peter Obi. What will solve the problem in Nigeria? Now that Peter Obi have seen uh, the way that they want to go. Peter Obi has seen and with his experience and with his like he always he told them he said the, the thing that you are doing in Nigeria now will come back to haunt your children in future and that is the truth and you think those people cares about that they don't care about that because their children don't live in Nigeria and that is the truth the type of money that they are getting their children don't live to be don't need to be in Nigeria so it might not hurt their children because their children have other other passports somewhere else. Their children are somewhere else. They can afford to go out and live wherever until the rest of their life. They don't need to smell Nigeria. So people be so now that you know that their children live outside. They are not like you. That you, you don't have uh, stuff abroad. They are not like you. Now that you know that all of us, we want our country to be okay. And that's where your, your mind is. Now that you have seen what they are trying to do, what is next for this 2027 election? They have even written the people now, they have made the court so uh, so bad that people now don't even care about going to court. They have collected everywhere. They have made me case a, a wife, a judge. They have, in short, they have collected everywhere. People are people don't care about court anymore. This said those states, they said if you don't like what happened, that the, the election is free and fair. But if you want to go to court, we will meet you there. That's what APC said. He said if you want to go to court, we will meet you there with um, everything. And the court you're going to is the court that saw that I made the Bolatinobu for forfeited 460 in US for drug, and they approved it. It's the court that said that he has fake certificate and they approved it. It's the court that say uh, that saw all the uh, <coughs> and they approved it. It's the court that they gave raise of a uh, of a three hundred thousand three hundred percent increase. And you think they will come and do anything for you in the crisis. So they are working so hard. So this video is really to make people be think. Peter Obi and few other people that want to uh, really do make uh, Nigeria change. They have abandoned the. They have abandoned the north. Now they said it. Ganduje said it. That their aim is to come to the east, come to the east and capture all the eastern states. And they have done one in Edo. Edo is perfect. However, they did it. They have perfected themselves as criminals so badly. Now, Peter Obi, what is next? What we should be doing now? What everybody from Peter Obi, from Peter Obi down, maybe if we hear it from him, to let people know that selling their votes and not coming out to vote is an easy way for people to rig election. Since they want him to be the only one that will tell them what to do. Maybe if he comes out and say it first, then we can follow. But because this one that we are saying, they are not hearing it. They want to hear it from him. Peter, be please, I'm begging you, my brother. Come and tell our people the importance of coming out to vote. 
come on, I know they make it so hard. They block the whole places. Like everybody has to walk. Some people want to drive. Some people have bike. Police all over the place close the road. But look at our election day. Look at our election day as a, as a job that you're doing to help yourself and help your family. That election day, go out and suffer for one day. Suffer for one day. Let it be your fasting and praying. Go out. Take, take whatever it takes to get to that polling boat and go out and vote. That's the only thing that can save our country. But since we are waiting for Peter B to say it, I beg Peter will be can you come and put your brain in their brain to let them understand that this is very, very important. That they cannot continue to stay home and be scared of these people because that's what they want. Please come out and tell them it's very, very important because the way these people are going now, the way these people are going, it will be too late. Before you know it, they will capture everywhere like they have said they would. So please come out, tell them the importance, the importance of voting. Importance of voting. Because when you register, let me school you guys a little bit. When you register for PVC and you didn't pick it up, you have just made it. That's the number one easy way. That's the number. You that registered and you did not come out to vote. And the person that sold his vote, even though I'm trying to see how do how those people sell their vote? Is it you collect your PVC, you give it to them, or you vote, or they give you money and they come there and put it in your head and said, okay, press Aziza or press Umbrella. Is that how it's, I don't know how it is sold. How, how does that happen? How, I don't know how it happened. Or they give you money, they didn't follow you. And instead of you voting what you're, what you're supposed to vote, you vote, I don't, please, let me know how this vote. Because when you say that people sell their vote, it's, it surprises me because I don't know how that is done. But if you sell your vote, you voted for the wrong person because of, um, because of 10,000 in four years, 10,000 to you. 10,000 that you cannot use to buy gari you cannot use to buy crayfish you cannot use to buy anything you collected ten thousand you are the same with the person that did not come to vote and they will use that your pvc that you have already applied that you didn't pick up and they will fill it themselves don't print it and put it in there that's what is happening so stop shouting that your votes don't count. Your votes don't count because you don't vote. Your votes don't count because you sold your vote. And the few that are able to go out and vote for the right person, don't worry. Have faith that one day something good will come out. So please send this video. Send this video to... Um, send this video to, to Peter Obi. So that Peter will be will start thinking of how he's going to come out to to put his brain into the brains of Nigeria to let them know the importance of how other countries do it. Other countries don't stay home and shout uh, ole ole ole. No, other countries come out and chase ole. They come out and chase ole with ma with the, with the, with whatever with their vote, with their PVC, with their PVC, they come out and chase you. They chase you because with their PVC, with their, ah, oh God, they cannot wait to go to that election. And they will tell you too that next time that you're not going. That's the way to do it. And they stand outside to come and give you money. Collect the money, put it in your pocket and keep going. Collect the money, put it in your pocket and keep going. When you get in there, you vote to the right person. In America, when people are voting, Let's say this field here is where they want to come and vote. Uh, where they are coming to get it inside this building in front of me. Everybody, there's a place that nobody can pass. All the parties will put all their whatever and everybody stands right here in the parking lot. Once you get like 15 yards away from the building, nobody is crossing there. 
and there's no police that is telling you they already know that they are not supposed to go in front of the door where people are going to vote nobody is supposed to the only people there is the people that that will accredite you they, they come in you bring oh god jesus why am i comparing you bring your id once you bring your id you show your id they compare with what is in 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 your in the in the paper that they have they give you you said is this correct you said yes this is correct they sign the paper they give it to you with your voting uh, do you want the democrat or do you want it doesn't matter anyway they give you your voting because both the democrat and the republican is in the same ballot they mark you as you came to vote they give you they you want to put your own in a paper like shade it or you want electronics you choose whichever one you want they show if it's electronics you go stand there and do the, your thing if it's um you want to shade it which uh, it's, uh, mostly the people that would do that mainly will be for i don't know i do electronic um they give it they give it to you you stand there and do your shading or you go there that's it you press when you finish they tell you to cross check everything that you have done you press a, a history or, or whatever you see everything the people that you have voted for if you want to change anything while you are there you can take out the one i said no not this one you can change it okay when you finish you look at everything they said is this what you voted you said yes you hit them sent once you send it it's gone nobody's coming to collect any ballot paper absolutely nobody so what happened in edo is an eye opener that everybody need to think about because we cannot continue to cry and and and, and say this rigging is rigging is rigging is rigging because you didn't vote it's rigging because you sold your voters card it's rigging because you didn't come out it's rigging why wouldn't they vote why wouldn't they rig this vote and give it to whomever else that they want and when somebody is paying for something when somebody is paying for your vote they are not going there to do everything think all this money that they're using uh, they are they have given you your own share the money that they shared is your own for the next four years and so you go figure it out you go figure it out you you are really uh, you hate yourself so much and you hate your children you hate your grandchildren if you are maybe in the 60s and you said ah i've gone halfway in my life eh what about your children what about your grandchildren your great grandchildren so please my people our mind needs to change if we don't change our mind our problem will not change if we continue to point fingers you point one finger four is to you what are you doing to change the situations of what we are going through we cannot let criminals hijack our country we cannot let criminals hijack our country how many are they why because you are allowing them to use you you are allowing them to use your brain you are like, oh my god i wish everybody can think i wish everybody can just understand where i am going i wish everybody would just be would be hurt the same way that i am hurting i want things well for our people but the way we are going we are not trying to help we are not trying to get anywhere and as long as we're not trying to get anywhere we are willing to be bought we are willing to be used they will be glad to continue to use us for the benefit of their own children so my people let us change our mindset so things can change for us from me to you thank you so much for watching Bye bye